we are going to have a chat as to what you feel about your journey so far and i will share aunties uh views on where this group is okay so anyone who wants to go first to share your experience mahider unmute so like in this in abhyas school i have had many experiences hard and strict from my uh teacher and my mom which is hard to balance and i can't really separate teacher and mom but that's a different discussion my journey has gone very nicely i think i've improved as a singer a lot in the past few years and i can't wait to go even further on that journey thank you very much coming from you means a lot to me uh, especially being the mom and the teacher thanks mahider um anyone next prana this journey in abhyas has been very remarkable for me i still remember i came into abhyas learning geetams and i'm all the way learning i love her kritis and aparna aunty has helped me and supported me every step of the journey and i i myself have seen improvement in my singing and all my renditions and everything over the last year and aparna aunty is very has been very helpful and supportive in that so thank you aunty thank you uh, a little bit of you know push every single day from your side is going to help you in the long run for sure and there is no substitute for hard work i keep telling that all the time to my students and i think this group has a lot of potential some of you can really push yourselves a little better i know sometimes you know the rote method like practicing the same things every day uh can be a little boring and tiring but trust me if you get past that boredom you really can open doors for creativity as well as amazing exploration okay so that is something that all of you should have in your mind there is no easy way in life struggles are very important because struggles are the ones that make us stronger if things were you know i know i shouldn't be saying this but usually with boys i have to talk more to motivate them and uh, i don't know why that's the case but some boys have it in them you know they always come prepared they always have the right questions they are never late to the class coming prepared to class meaning they memorize the lessons that is given they sing it the number of times that is you know uh, uh recommended in a week and they also watch out for any special and specific instructions given in class for example sitting straight opening mouth doing the talam correctly both the rhythm as well as the placement of the beats correct diction moving your mouth according to the lyrics keeping your head in the right position all of this matters so these are basic requirements though they are extremely important but they are extremely basic and most often they are not we tend to skip the basic things easy things in life right thinking oh this is easy i can do this later i'll do what is more hard it's okay go according to the instructions go according to the practice schedule that is recommended for you trust me you will see yourself going to the next level the transition will be very smooth so this is not a one way traffic i cannot just sit on the other side and keep teaching you you have to start doing a lot more work especially with this situation where i have no control we don't have any in person classes i have no control of what is happening and on the other end and i have no control over what you do during the week so you have to act responsibly and you have to start putting that effort if you do i'm telling you guys it's going to be a smooth ride it will be really really smooth you will see struggles you will see challenges but it will still be smooth for you you will not feel um you know pressured or forced into doing it okay shuban any thoughts Well, the journey has been awesome, and then coming back after taking a break for a year was kind of difficult. But with Alparanti's help, I kind of got back on track, and I feel like I improved a lot from like a year and a half ago to now. 
See, that's that's the very important point that um, Shubang is bringing. Taking a break and coming back is not easy at all. And it takes a lot of, you know, discipline to get back on track because going off track is so easy. And I really appreciate that in Shubang. Uh, he's always prompt. And uh, I want you guys to ask more questions during class, off class, sending messages to auntie. You know how many other students do that in the school? I really cherish that. I really, I really appreciate when students reach out to me and ask me questions as to uh, what can I do. And you know, we have an Abhya support group that is uh, led by my daughter Mahati and a few other senior students of our school. Uh, we have an Abhya support group. You can reach out to them, ask questions about how to manage your time because they have all done multiple Arangetrams and they are like uh, into great colleges. So they have definitely found a balance in life, right? So that is something that you can learn from your senior students. So always, if it comes from auntie who is like much older to you, much more experienced, it is hard to make a connection and relate to it. When it is somebody just slightly older to you who has been through the same journey in the same school and they give you some advice and tips, that will actually have a big impact. So I'll, I'll connect you guys to some of the students in the Abhya support group if need be, okay? But you have to reach out to me. Auntie, I need help, okay? Uh, Sanjeev? Uh, when I first moved into the Abhya school, um, it required hard work and um, it required hard work and dedication. And I felt like, um, I felt like that has um, applied to uh, different aspects of my life, not just singing. So um, even if it was hard through remote classes, um, I've, I felt like I have improved as a singer and, um, and I, Hope I and I thank um, Aparnanti and the school for pushing me to be into the um, uh, to being the singer I am now, and I hope to improve and learn more future songs and um, yeah. So I thank you. Thank you, Sanjit. Thank you. I really uh, enjoy classes with this group because um, you you guys sound so good. Your Shruti is so soothing. See male voices, it is so soothing for me. So I, I, you know, really enjoy classes with you, even though I have to sing up and down in the octave. I don't mind because when there is, you know, considerable amount of reciprocation from the other side, I really feel gratified. Some of you are really, really, really lucky to have the natural inclination towards Shruti, Layam, as well as lyrics. And some others, you really have to work towards it. I will give specifications during class. But um, I'm enjoying classes with you guys, to be honest. And I definitely am seeing individual improvement. Uh, though I, I know as a teacher, I'm greedy and I want to see faster and better improvement sooner. But uh, the journey has been great. Shiv? So when I first started singing, when I was little, I always remember that I really like the variation in the songs. Like uh, maybe this one has like, um, maybe one has like a di really different of Rohanam and Arohanam. Um, and I really used to like the variation. And, and, I, and I've gone to many schools before this school. And I always remembered that I wanted to move to a different school because I really wanted a challenge. And I, I really, I really like different things. And so when I moved to, um, when I moved to Abhyas, I really enjoyed it. Sure, there have been some times where maybe I was um, bored or I, or I thought that the class were different, but I just need a little reminder that they're all a step of the journey and that they will all help me in their own individual ways. And I'd also like to thank Aparnanti for helping me through every step as in Abhyas. Sure, thank, thank you, Shiv, yes. Sometimes it'll seem as though it is easy, but if you dig deeper, you will understand where are the areas that you need to work, okay? So keep working constantly. It, it's definitely getting to a better place. I know that. Nitin? Uh, when, when I started uh, 
learning music from Abayas. I had already started learning. I had to already learn music for a couple of years, so I was a bit scared for how the transition would be to Abayas. But thankfully, that transition has been seamless thanks to Aparna Anji. Aparna Anji always teaches me if my if um my singing is wrong. She always teaches me the small mistakes that I know are gonna help me in the wrong long run. So I always appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, Nitin. Thank you, um, thank you, guys. I wanted uh, this group to come out uh, with your, uh, uh, you know, ideas and views about your journey so far. You have a long way ahead of you. You have just started assimilation of a lot of compositions. Okay, so this is uh, great. You are at a good point now, level three, and I'm going to push you hard to go to the next level, which is when you'll be introduced to creative music. That's when the real challenge comes. But to be able to be in level four, which is the uh, upper intermediate level two, you guys have to be very confident of the compositions you sing. You should know what are the basic requirements to come to class. You have to make sure you are uh, always, you know, uh, asking questions about any doubts you may have and things like that. So you guys really should step up a little more to go to the next level. But um, it's been a great experience so far teaching all of you. You're all in different, you know, small, small different levels because uh, some of you need help with opening mouth. Some of you need help with Shruti. Some of you need help with memorizing and so on. But um, I'm sure with constant uh, uh, you know, uh, practice and constant guidance and push from me, you guys will definitely go to the next level, okay? And you should have like an aim, guys. You should have like a goal. Um, for example, I should be able to sing the compositions I sing without any trouble. I should be able to sing it in front of anybody Whatever compositions I learn, I should be able to sing it from memory in front of anybody at any point. How do you prepare for that? Start thinking like that, okay? Have personal goals. Do not worry about, uh, uh, you know, uh, going for a recital or getting some uh, award or uh, going to uh, Instagram and trying to get a lot of followership. Not like that. That's not a realistic goal that those are goals that don't have that you don't have a lot of control over have goals in which you have control over for example i have to practice all 7 days rain or shine music has to be part of me just like breakfast every day i have to sing every day there shouldn't be a single day without practicing music make it an integral part of your life so as uh, Sanjit mentioned, and a lot of other students are also mentioning this in this chat session that we have, informal chat session, that they are applying a lot of values that is coming out of this art form into other areas of life. And that is such a wonderful thing, right? I am so happy he said that. That is exactly what I want. I want you guys to be shaping into a great person, into a person who is reliable, who is respectful, who holds on to the right values. When people look at you, they should be able to say, okay, this chick, this kid is from Abhyas. Okay, this kid, you know, is highly respectable. Oh, this kid is, oh, we need to take this kid seriously because he knows what he does. He's very serious about what he does. We can't mess up with this child or kid. So when, 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 people start to have that kind of respect towards you, you will understand what it is to be in that position. But to be there, to earn that, you need to first work towards that. And that's what I want for all of you. I want all of you to be very successful. I want all of you to be happy and uh, you know, do a lot of good deeds in life, give it back to the community. Empower yourself in a way that you are a contributor, not always a taker in the society. Okay, so that's what I want for all of you. So thank you very much for sharing your experiences. You have all been extra nice to me. 
thank you for <laughs> making my day. But I know as a teacher, I have a long way to go as well. So nobody is perfect. And we are in this together. It's a teamwork. So it's, it's not just me or you. So let us work as a team towards betterment. And I always tell children, do not practice for perfection. Practice to improve. If yesterday you made a mistake, make sure you don't make that mistake today. That's not working towards perfection. That is only working towards improvement. And every day, if you keep improving, that is the best way to live, in my opinion. Okay, guys? All right. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.